first light across the western hills of Earth's only continent, Pangaea. This world has been ruled by one group of giant reptiles for over 50 million years. But these ancient creatures have had their day. All over these lush fern prairies, a grim evolutionary battle has broken out among the newer types of reptile for supremacy of this strange world. On these Triassic proving grounds, dinosaurs are still comparatively rare, but they are beginning to show the first signs of their future success. It is the end of the wet season, and the local river is full, but it will not remain this lush, and ahead lies nine months with no rain. One type of reptile has evolved to thrive in drought. Dinosaurs like this Coelophysis can survive on very little water. She is also light-boned, fast, and she is beautifully adapted for killing. Dinosaurs first appeared around 10 million years before as small predators, but what makes them unique is special hips and ankles that allow them to stand perfectly balanced on two legs. With lightning-fast reactions, they are built to survive. A growing chorus of calls signals the arrival of a huge herd of Placerias. They are making their way down from the fern scrubland for their morning drink. These impressive one-ton beasts are not related to dinosaurs. They are a much more ancient type of reptile. Once there were many different varieties of these powerful creatures swaggering across the landscape. But now the Placerias are the only ones of their kind that remain. They are an endangered species. Despite their fearsome appearance, they are actually gentle herbivores. Their tusks are used for digging up roots. But on two angry males, these tusks can make lethal weapons. For the swift Coelophysis, Placerias are prey. This young female targets the old and weak in the slow-moving herd. One day, the descendants of dinosaurs like Coelophysis will take over this world. But it is their speed and agility that gives them the edge in the mid-Triassic. <laughs> 